What is up, you two, man? Welcome to the NLCS Game 1. Cubs, Dodgers. First off, I thought I'd be playing the Braves, but the Cubs found a way to beat the Braves after they beat the Reds. And now they're here in the NLCS against the dominant Dodgers team that we have in the franchise. Uh, man, we are looking to win four straight games. That's, that's the goal. But it's the NLCS, the Cubs... I feel like they're maybe a little bit drained, you know, as a wild card team. They had to go through Cincinnati, then the Braves, where I think the Braves actually just took one game. Um, and now you gotta face the Dodgers, the dominant Dodgers, as in real life, the Dodgers are down 0-2. To the Diamondbacks, and we ain't gonna talk about the real life Dodgers. This is the franchise Dodgers. This is our franchise. A CT3's hyping up the dugout right there, and uh, Strowman is in the bullpen for the Cubbies, and Tony Gonsolin is warming in the bullpen for the Dodgers as he's getting his first postseason start. Regular season had a good year. 28, I mean no, 27 starts, 25 and one record. Had a 1.92 ERA, 192 innings pitched, five walks, 244 strikeouts this year for Tony Gonsolin, and was a Cy Young candidate and an MVP candidate through the whole year until his last start, and this is his first start in a while now, so we'll see how it goes. First pitch splitter will be fouled, 0-1. Good way to start this ball game. Just get a strike, get a foul ball, whatever you can do to the hot hitting Ian Happ. He's hitting 385 in the postseason as he grounds out to Arenado. One away here in the top of the first. <clears throat> so one away, and now that will bring up Seiya Suzuki. He's hitting 308. One home run and five RBIs. Cubs go through the Reds. They go through the Braves. And now they're trying to go through the Dodgers. To make it to the World Series, Dodgers, we sweep the Rockies, and now we're facing these Cubs. The 0-2, the fifth pitch, Peter, got him, two away here in the top of the first. Oh, the commentator's talking. I was like, why do I hear somebody else talking? It's because the commentator's talking. Two away here in the top of the first, and now that would bring up Nico Horner hitting 370 on the postseason in the postseason for the Cubs as that's the first pitch inside ball one so in Tony Gonson's last regular season starts I feel like the fastball got hit around as that's blooped into right Mookie Betts is on the run he will get there then the top of the first a one two three inning for <clears throat> Tony Gonsolin All right, Marcus Stroman. This is his third start in the postseason. He is 2-0, has 14 innings, one walk, 18 strikeouts on the year well, in the postseason. It has not given up any runs. He's been at lights out, it looks like, for the Chicago Cubs as Mookie Betts will greet him hitting 357 in the postseason. As hard as this series is going to be, I feel like, like talking about baseball for me at the moment just with what the Dodgers are actually doing in real life, I, I, uh, I'm not going to try and bring it up at all, um, as our Mookie will swing at it one and one, because there's a lot of things I could just be like, oh, well, Mookie's hitting 357 in this, but in real life, like, but we're going to try and just stick to the franchise like we did all of the regular season, and, uh, talk about what's going on in the franchise, so, comments <clears throat> uh if you guys want to hate on the dodgers if you're a d-backs fan or any fan go go to my go to my other videos like my you know game reaction videos that'd be much appreciated even though that's how hate comments not like they never work that way but anyway one away here in the first as uh Mookie bets <clears throat> strikes out and now that'll bring up outman hitting 385 First pitch, swung on and missed, 0-1 to the Rookie of the Year. The 0-1 from Stroman to Outman. 0-2, good split. 
Row two. So, Ansby Swanson, former Brave, beats his former team in the NLDS. And I, and Cody Bellinger is here, too. I totally forgot that. Belly is on the Cubs for a second. But, Cub, I mean, Bellinger, postseason hero for the Dodgers, probably is having a good one for the Cubs as Altman will strike out two away as <clears throat> Jan Gomes will throw down. And now that will bring up Freddie Freeman hitting 250 in the postseason. First pitch. Swung on and fouled 0-1. Having a very tough time facing Stroman 1-1. One one. No, one one. Our last game was two days ago. So we should still be on point swinging the bats, but we'll see. The 1-2. 2-2. Two. Two and two. So far with the first three batters, it looks a little slower than usual. The 2-2 two -two from Stroman. 3-2, and, and Max Muncy's on deck. The payoff will be a strikeout, and Marcus Stroman strikes out the side, and the three-headed monsters for the Dodgers right there. Strikes out Bet, strikes out Alman. And strikes out Freddie Freeman. All right, Dansby Swanson will lead off the top of the second, hitting 322 bombs, six RBIs on the year. Well, in the postseason. Ball one from Tony Gonsolin. 1 0. First season with the Cubs and postseason ball. What Dansby expected. The 1 1. A curve hit off of Gonslin throws the first one away. Hopefully, Gonslin's okay. Dave Roberts looking on, and they're gonna bring up Christopher Morrell. I think Morrell, yeah, can't see his name, don't know what he's hitting, but I know that's who it is. Ball one and 0 for 4 against the Braves in their last game. One and one. The one one curveball. Two and one. Two ball, one strike. The two one pitch from Morale. I mean from Gonsolin, two and two. The two two split will be fouled. The two two Dodger fans rallying those towels. We'll get him looking. Good slider right there from Tony Gonsolin. Not really where we wanted it, but it worked. And now that will bring up Patrick Wisdom. Good thing I kind of know the Cubs lineup. Since it's not, since their names ain't appearing. The 1 Slider 0-2. 0-2, the 12-6 will. Be fouled off. The O2 splitter inside will strike him out. Then the top of the second, third punch out for Tony Gonsolin. Took Marcus Stroman an inning to do it, and took Gonsolin too. It's gonna be a fun game, I think, with this pitching duo or this pitching matchup. Pitching duo. All right, that'll bring up Max Muncy being 333. No home runs, no RBIs in the postseason, but he's getting hits. First pitch is a strike going on. The 0 1. Hit to first. Mancini will take it to the bag himself, one away here in the bottom of the second. So depending on how this game goes, as I'll bring up Will hitting 364, if we end up winning this ball game, I think Dustin May or Bobby Miller will pitch tomorrow. Um, if we end up losing, we're going to go with Walker Buehler in game two. Just feels kind of right to do that if we're down a game. 
But if we end up winning, it's either going to be May or Miller tomorrow. Since none of those two got a start in the NLDS. One, two. Hit. Swanson. Two away. Two away. And now that will bring up Arenado. Hitting 364. He had a really good NLDS against his former team in the Rockies as he launches this one here. This one's back. This one is caught, 10 to second. No hits for either side. All right, Cody Bellinger lead it off, hitting 292, four bombs, and five RBIs in the postseason. Got to be careful, obviously, when you're facing Bellinger. Batting average? Wow, okay, 0-1. I was going to say, batting average is all right. Home runs and RBIs. Looks like that's what Cody's been doing in this postseason 0-2. Looks like he's been kind of carrying the Cubbies. The 0-2. Slur. Uh, not slur. Excuse me. Splitter will strike him out. One away here in the top of the third. Fourth punch out for Tony Gonsolin. Tony man looking pretty good so far. As that will bring up Trey Mancini. A lot of the Cubs, man, are hitting 360 four and have very high averages as that's popped up in the right uh two away here in the top of the third uh the alcs is the guardians and angels by the way just thought i'd like to let you guys know that they i think they're off tonight and they start theirs tomorrow as we play game two and they get their game one under their way i'll bring up gomes sitting 364 the cubs catcher strike one with the fastball from tony gonsling the 0 1 slider. 0 oh, 2. 0 oh, 2 fastball from Tony. Will be hit. Fouled. Just rolled. Fouled past Freeman. The 0 2 slider will strike him out. Looking. What a pitch from Tony Gonsley. Five punch outs for Tony. Honestly, I thought that was going to be a ball when it came out of his hand, but we'll take it. Taylor, Vargas, and Adamas do up. up Alright, that'll bring up Taylor. Alrighty. First pitch to CT will be outside ball one, hitting 273 in this postseason. The 1-0 from Stroman. The 26th pitch is low. 2-0. Taylor ahead of the count. First Dodgers batter, I feel like, in this game. has been ahead of the count. And it might ha have some success behind it as that will be hit. The Dansby Swanson. One away here in the bottom of the third. And now that will bring up Vargas hitting 182. He's kind of disappeared so far in the postseason. But that's all right. Just... Hopefully he finds it and helps us dodge his ball club win. He was super hot in the month of September and August. So hopefully he can start getting something going in the month of October. One and one. <clears throat> Marcus Stroman, a super competitive pitcher. Pitched for Puerto Rico. And, I mean, no, excuse me. Pitched for the United States in 2017. Had a, no hitter through that game when they won the World Baseball Classic here at Dodger Stadium. And so far in this postseason, he's been a hero for the Cubbies. No runs given up so far for him. And this is his third start. And the Dodgers are trying to be the first team to do it. And two away here in the bottom of the third, the 0-1. Hit in the right for a base hit. So base hit for Willie Adamas. First hit of the game for the Dodgers. First hit of the game for any of the teams. And now that'll bring on Mookie Betts, he's 0 for 1. Struck out swinging as he swings at the first one here, not being 
He's not being played discipline. He's not having any discipline at the plate at the moment. He's just fishing at a lot of things, 0-2. That's the one thing about Marcus Stroman is his pitches so far have just looked super hittable. And then all of a sudden they're not. The 0-2. 1-2, good take. The 1-2 to Mookie Betts. 2-2, two two, great, 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 great take. The 2-2. Two two. Willie will lead. There he goes. The pitch will be popped up to end the third inning. And Marcus Stroman will get out of that single from Willie Adamas. Cubs, man, they're looking pretty good pitching-wise. All right, Ian Happ will lead off the top of the fourth. He's 0 for 1. First pitch splitter. Hit hammered into right. Betts is back. He'll get there one away here in the top of the fourth. But the way it sounded off the bat, I thought Betts was going to be running to the wall for that one. The 0 2. I'm not allowed. Now bring up uh, Saya Suzuki. He's 0 for 1. First pitch. Fouls it off 0 and 1. Being very off-speed reliant today is Tony Gonsolin, 0-2. I feel like the fastball was kind of the problem at the end of the year in his last, like, four starts. Just did not look good for him. So kind of testing something new here in the postseason, probably not the best place to do it. But so far, so good as he gets a ball called right there, 1-2. and two. That's close. The one-two slider. First fastball to say is Suzuki. Was gonna be was called a ball, but it was close. The one-two twelve six. Fouls it off. The one-two heater inside. Two and two. The the fastballs just ain't getting bit like no one's baiting at them. The 2 2 12 6. Hit. Arenado can't make the play. The first hit for the Cubs will be a single from Seiya Suzuki, respecting CT3's arm. And uh, both teams with a single now. Just a lot of off speed pitches in that at bat. And gonna get the fastball, the fan Suzuki. And that leads to him getting a single as the first pitch will be fouled off here with the splitter 0 and 1. <clears throat> the 0 1 slider. 0 and 2. Like I said, Tony Gonsolin trying something new here in the post. He's not being too re not relying too much on the heater, but he will hear. The 0 2 got him looking. Two away here in the top of the fourth. Six punch out for Tony Gonsolin. And I feel like with the Cubs seeing a lot of off-speed, they just have no idea when the heat's coming. And I feel like that is going to help Tony out in this game and possibly in his next start, whenever that may be. Or his next outing if he comes out of the bullpen. First pitch to Dansby. Hit. Adamus will field it. Throw the first to end the top of the fourth. And uh, Gonslin will work out of that single from Suzuki. Alrighty, uh, Alman will come up, hits the first one he sees into right center field. Well, more like into center, and Alman's going to be aggressive and get a double with how slow that ball was hit to Bellinger out there, and the Dodgers have a runner in scoring position for the first time tonight against Marcus Stroman. Just the ball kind of rolled slowly to... Cody Bellinger and Alman speed. He thought, all right, I'm testing his arm. And now that will bring up Freddie Freeman. He's over 140 pitches so far for Marcus Stroman. Ball, oh, nope, strike one to Freddie. Sometimes I forget how tall Freddie is. The 0 1. 0 and 2. <clears throat> Freddie kind of struggled in the NLDS. Yo, two got him. One away here in the bottom of the fourth, and now that'll bring on Max Muncy. Fifth punch out for Marcus Stroman. And 
now that will bring up Max Muncy. Oh for one. Did he go? Nope. One out. One oh. Two and oh. Two and one. Three and one, good take. And Will Smith is on deck. This Dodgers, Dodgers Stadium is super loud right now. The three one. Hit. And two away here in the bottom of the fourth, but Altman will advance to third. And a single scores him. That'll bring up Will, grounded out earlier. Oh for one, first pitch from Stroman. Outside, ball one. The take from the Dodgers catcher hit 32 home runs in 116 games this year. The 1 0. Fouls it off 1 1. That was the pitch to crush, I feel like. I think Will just missed it. The 1 1 from Stroman. Fouls it off again 1 2. Stroman, if he gets out of this inning, I know he's going to be pumped going off the mound. The 1 2 to Smith. Two and two, ball gets away, Yon Gomes can't catch it. A wild pitch and the Dodgers score 1-0. Was not expecting that. And now Max Muncy moving over. James Alman was absolutely huge. Good job right there for Max, you know, just doing his thing and moving over Muncy. And I mean Altman, excuse me. And now the Dodgers don't even have to get a hit to bring in a run in. Will Smith will get a blue kit. So he would have probably delivered anyway. Oh, bring up Arenado. Oh, for one. First pitch. There goes Smith. That ball's hammered. And Marcus Stroman ain't getting that one back. Arenado makes it a 3-0 Dodgers lead. And this man in the postseason has come alive for the Dodgers. What a swing from Nolan Arenado to make it 3-0. And we have an 88% chance to win this game as that's hit the center. But Bellinger will have enough room to make the catch. To end the fourth. Leading off of the bell, the third baseman, number five, Christopher Morrell. Well, they'll bring up Christopher Morrell, low for one. First pitch slider. This is blooped into right center. Mookie will not get there. That will be a double for Christopher Morale as Altman will throw it in. So a leadoff double here in the top of the fifth. And now that will bring up Patrick Wisdom 0 for 1. First pitch split 0 and 1. The 0 1 curve. Hit down to Aaron Nato. Throw the first one away. So one away here in the top of the fifth, and now that'll bring up Cody Bellinger. 0 for 1. First pitch slider. Hit into left. Taylor will get behind this one, two away, and the runner will not tag. Two away, and now that'll bring up Trey Mancini. 0 for 1. First pitch, ball 1. 1 0. The splitter. 1 and 1. 1 1 fastball. 1 and 2. Great pitch. Well, not the greatest pitch, but it worked. 1 2. The curve. 2 and 2. 2 2 slider. Will be a strikeout. 
to end the top of the fifth. Five scoreless innings for Tony Gonsolin. Maybe he's trying to have a complete game to prove to Walker Beeler that, hey, buddy, I know you won the MVP in Cy Young, but it, it should have been me. Now bring up Vargas as he hammers the first pitches. First pitch he sees, and that baby is gone. It's for zero Dodgers here in the bottom of the fifth. What a swing from Miguel Vargas. First pitch, ball one. The 1 0 from Strowman. Has yet to give up any runs in his first two starts in the postseason. Here at Dodger Stadium, he's given up four kinda in the well in the middle innings. If you're Strowman, you gotta be proud of yourself no matter what. You went two postseason games without giving up a run. Like that's that's pretty impressive. Swung on and missed, 0 1. MVP chance to Outman as that's looped into left to end the fifth. But the Dodgers add to the lead thanks to Miguel Vargas. All right, Jan Gomes would lead off the uh, top half of the sixth. He's 0 for 1. First pitch, strike one. The 0 1 curve. 1 and 1. Going back to it here. The 1 1 curve ball again from Tony. 2 and 1. 2 1 slider. 2 and 2. The 2 2 splitter will strike him out. Nope, that'll be fouled. Alright, the 2 2. Fastball in. Will be a strikeout. One away here in the top of the sixth. Eighth punch out for Tony Gonsolin. Did not expect Jan Gomes to swing at that. And now that will bring up Ian Happ. He's 0 for 2. He won to right field in his last half bat. Takes a strike here. 0 and 1. One fastball to Happ. Way inside. 1 and 1. 1-1. One, one. Way outside, 2-1. 2-1 one. One, one fastball. 3-1. and one. Gonsolin kind of having a hard time here. The 3-1 slider. 3-2. and two. Great pitch from Tony right there. The 3-2, 12-6 will just be fouled. Oh, three two heater. Will strike out half two away. Ninth punch out for Tony Gonsolin. And another one looking. The Cubs just seem like they can't get the bats off their shoulders tonight. So I'll bring up Saya Suzuki. One for two with that single earlier. First pitch heater 0 and 1. Tony kind of relying on the fastball here. Third time around against this Cubs lineup. 0-2 quickly. 0-2. Third straight fastball. Will be fouled. The 0-2 splitter. Will strike him out to end the top of the sixth. Ten punch outs for Tony Gonsolin through six innings.
the bat. The catcher. The bat, the third baseman, Dolan, Aranado. One. Ah. One, two.
All right, so I'm back, and of course, when I, Miguel Vargas is hurt. Uh oh. Miguel Vargas slid into second and has hurt his ankle. Oh my gosh. Talk about turn of events. Jay Hay will come in and run. Mookie will strike out. Mookie will go in to play second base and Hayward will go into right. But now what do we do? Like, our lineup is going to change. If Miguel Vargas has to be out for this NLCS. We're a few games. That's not good. 1-0. Uh, sorry that I was off the mic and commentating. A buddy called me and was telling me that he just got canned from his job. That's unfortunate. The 1-1. One, one. Outman will be hitting the left. That ball will be caught. Hayward will tag. And he will easily be in the third. Jay Hay said, all right. I got to warm up a little bit, boys. Let me let me tag up and get my blood flowing. As that will now bring up Freddie Freeman. One for three. There's the pitch. And Adamus will have a stolen base. One oh. Popped up into center. That will end the seventh. All right, we're gonna. Grab Jay Hay and put him in right, and Mookie will go into second. Tony Gonsolin out there for the eighth. He's had a very good game. Has like 11 punch outs. 0 and 1. He's looking for a complete game. 0 and 2. Honestly, would not be a surprise if Tony Gonsolin was able to throw a complete game as he strikes out Patrick Wisdom. That's his 12th punch out. And now that will bring up Cody Bellinger. 0 for 2. First pitch, strike one. 0 1, 12, 6. 0 and 2. Zero, 2. Fastball, 13. Ah, I was going to say 13 punch outs. Ted Bellinger looks at it. 1 2 slider. Got him. There it is. 13 for Tony Gonson. And this place is loud. And now that would bring up Trey Mancini. They're cheering on Gonson. This fan base supported him all year. He's done really good as that's hitting the right field for a base hit. <clears throat> for a Mancini. And the Dodgers bullpen will start getting warmed. Just in case. This is the postseason, boys. We cannot let anything happen too crazily. We cannot let the Cubs get a rally going. And if Gonson's able to get out of it here, <clears throat> that's absolutely huge, and he might pitch the ninth. The 1 0. The 90th pitch. 1 and 1. The 1 1 fastball. In the left, this ball's given a ride. It's in a hook foul. Taylor will not get there. If Taylor catches that, I, I wouldn't even know what to say. The 1 2, the 12 6, got him. And Gonslin, he's tired. We're, I think we're going to pull him either way. The energy bar went to yellow after that 91st pitch. Um. Ball one to one oh.
the batter, the catcher. Two and two to Will Smith. Three and two. <clears throat> the payoff to Smith. Hendricks out there. Pretty much bulking the innings for the Cubs. That will be a base hit here in the bottom of the eighth. I think we're going to sit down Bruce Dark Ratterall. And probably bring in like Alex Vesia or Alex Reyes to end this ball game. Three straight righties for the Cubs though. So I don't know if it will be Vesia. First pitch to Hendrick from Hendricks will be hit to Swanson for the double play. And Vesia and Reyes just got warming up. So that's the perfect double play ball. Ian Happ will lead off the top of the ninth. We're going to hit a mound visit really quick. He's going to say he wants to go a little bit more. The Dodgers bullpen still warming. First pitch, strike one from Tony Gonsolin. Probably wants to go all nine. And who could blame him, right? The 0 1 curve, 0 2. The 0 2 fastball. Got him. One away here in the top of the ninth. 14th strikeout of the game from Tony Gonsolin. And now that will bring up Seiya Suzuki. One for three. Cubs down to their final two outs here in game one as it's 0-1-1. One slider. 0-2. The fastball usage tonight has been very good. So has the off speed as that's a strikeout. Two away here in the top of the ninth. 16th strikeout for Tony Gonson. This is absolutely insane. I wish you could see the, like, I wish you can see the usage of the pitches, but you can't. Which is kind of, like, you can see the percentage. But you can't see, like, how many fastball Tony threw, how many sliders. I feel like the fastball is kind of ranked up there, but a lot of mix for the off-speed pitches. As that's hit down there, Renato, that will end the game. And Dodgers take game one after Tony Gonsolin has a lights-out performance. And uh, I'm kind of glad we saved them for game one of the NLCS. Set the tone for the outfield. I'm not, not for the outfield, sorry, excuse me, for the pitching staff. Now, I feel more confident in having Bobby Miller on the mound tomorrow if I go with Miller. But I'm more likely to go with Dustin May. I feel like May needs to get himself out there. And he needs to pitch. Uh, what a game from Tony Gonsolin. Three hits given up, no runs, no walks, 16 punch outs. He's, uh, he's been killing it, man. Like, what a crazy game from Tony Gonsolin. There's a little bit of worry now for Miguel Vargas. Uh, you know, he's been our everyday second baseman the whole season, pretty much. And if he's out for the rest of this series with an ankle sprain or whatever, it probably means that Jay Hay and David Peralta will be playing more because Mookie Betts will probably move into second base. Or CT3. I don't know quite yet, but that's up for uh, Just got to figure it out after this game and get ready for game two tomorrow. So like, comment, subscribe, turn those post notifications. See you guys for game two tomorrow where we look to take a 2-0 lead against these Cubs.